Of all the exercises that exist, the deadlift is one of the best compound moves for building muscle and strength, improving core stability, and burning fat. But only if you do it right. Many think that lifting is simply bending over, picking up the barbell, and putting it back down. But the reality is more complicated than this. In this video, I'll present the full list of cues you should consider to get your deadlift form up to speed. And guys, before moving on, don't forget to check my website for more details about my complete self-education and training guide that teaches you step-by-step -step how to customize your workout and meal plans using science-based methods to achieve the best results. With that being said, let's dive right in. Set up for your deadlift by adopting this stance. Stand with your feet hip width apart, flat on the floor, facing forward and turned out by 15 degrees. Ensure the barbell is over your midfoot, being your balance point and around one inch away from your chins. Keep your shoulder blades above your midfoot and shoulders in front of the bar. Keep your elbows locked, chest raised, abs contracted and arms straightened. Keep your hips high and hinged between your knees and shoulder. Keep your knees bent. Keep your hips back and head in line. Wrap your thumbs and firmly squeeze with a full grip around the bar, lower and closer to your fingers, not in the middle of your palm. The grip should be shoulder width apart and outside the knees. There are two main types of hand grips. The normal or double overhand grip with both palms pronated facing the chins and the mixed grip or over under grip with one hand pronated while the other supinated away from the chins. It is advisable to use normal grip in your light sets then switch later to mixed grip when you can't lift the weight anymore using normal grip to keep the bar from slipping. It is good practice to alternate grips in individual workouts or between them. Once all set, Take a deep breath and pull the bar slowly up using your legs, not your arms or lower back as follows. Inhale before pulling the bar off the floor and hold your breath while pulling. Raise your hips and chest at the same time. Keep your chest up to prevent your torso from hunching and your shoulder blades from rounding. Push your knees out to the side. Keep your chin up and your neck and head in a neutral position by looking forward with your eyes fixed to a spot on the ground. Do not look up or down to your feet. Keep your arms straight and your upper and lower back flat and neutral without arching or bending. Drag the bar as close to your chins and thighs as possible. Bar path should remain vertical over your midfoot and should never follow any horizontal movement. At the top position, lock your knees and hips and straighten your legs. Hold the weight for a second over your midfoot and do not hyperextend your back or shrug. Next, lower the weight down as follows. Your way down should be a mirror of your way up. Unlock your hips and move them back. Keep your hips between your shoulder and knees and wait until the bar has passed your knees before bending them. The bar should never hit your knees. Lower the bar in a vertical line so it lands over your midfoot again. Make sure the bar always stay in contact with your legs. Do not round your back, keep it neutral. And finally, exhale only when the bar is back on the floor. One last important tip guys, make sure you don't stand up between reps because you lose the stretch reflex making the next rep harder. Also avoid re-gripping the bar as this indicates you either didn't grip it correctly at the start like for instance using a normal grip when the weight needs a mixed grip or you grip mid palm and had to relax because of hand pain. Grip the bar properly before starting your deadlift set. That's all about it guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video please like and share and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be the first to receive my latest videos. Also check my next two videos on how to fix your squat bar path and how deep you should squat.